Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over how to use custom views in Excel. So custom views allow you to quickly reapply different settings and, and changes that you've made to your spreadsheet. So if you've hidden certain rows, hidden certain columns, um, if you'd applied filters, it can automatically do that for you. So you don't have to keep on reapplying those things over and over again. So I'm going to show you how it works. So first I'm going to go to the view tab. And on here, there's an option for custom views. There'll be an option to to add a new view. So right now I've got nothing in here. So if I click on add, I can just select the name of this current view to default. And you can see I can include the print settings, any hidden rows, columns, and filter settings. Now, initially I'm just creating a default one. So that way after I've made my changes, I can swap back into this view easily. So I'm gonna hit okay. And right now it doesn't really do anything just because I haven't made any changes to it. But there are things um, that I can do that uh, it will save. So for example, let's say I want to hide everything after the sales column. So I'm just going to select all these, <coughs> select hide, and then let's also apply a, a filter here. So let's say I want the quantity ordered to be greater than 30. So I've got it filtered off here. And now that I've set this up, I'll go back into the views tab, select custom views, and let's create another one to add. And this one I'm going to call quantity over 30. And so that's saved. And so now that it's saved, I can go back into my custom views in here. And now I've got both the default and the quantity over 30. So if I have the default selected and now I click the show button, what it's going to do is revert back to that default view that I initially set up. So I click on show and you can see it goes through those steps and everything is unfiltered here. I see even items that are below 30. So it is working correctly. So if I go back in here again, let's say I want to reapply that quantity over 30, hit the show button and there we go. We've hidden those extra columns. We've applied that filter. So it's doing multiple things for you at once. So it's a really cool way um, uh, to, to save it. So it's, it's effective if you want to uh, bounce back and forth um, between views. Um, one thing you could do if you want to make this a bit easier to access, you can add this to your quick access toolbar. So it shows up right there. So you don't have to go through the view tab and look for it. You can also use um, a shortcut. So alt, We'll see W for view and then C for custom views. So Alt WC will get you in here. So allowing you to quickly toggle back and forth between views. Now there is one very important drawback when you're dealing with custom views and that's that it doesn't work with tables. So if I were to just convert this into a table, right, even though I've done nothing with it. Now, if I go to the view tab, you'll see the custom views are grayed out. And it doesn't matter if it's on this sheet or even if I'm on another sheet, that custom views is still grayed out. So if you want that capability, then you've got to make sure you don't have a table. So I convert this to range. Now I go back to view. Now I have my custom views. They're still saved there, but because there, there's not a table, it'll, it'll work. So there, the, the main reasons you may want to consider using custom views is you know you don't work with tables you don't work with pivot tables you just want a way to quickly um, jump through different views um, I'd, i think it'd be more useful to maybe if you're dealing with uh, people who aren't all that familiar with with excel some some beginner users who maybe don't uh, feel comfortable doing that making those changes all the time or you know might have difficulty with pivot tables you know set up a quick access toolbar link here and have them cycle through the different views. So you could have something like, you know, different regions, different product lines, where it automatically filters back and forth. Because when you save this file, it'll be saved with those those views in there. So it isn't locked into your um, into your version of Excel. If you open it on the, on the computer, the views will be there as well. So that's the main reason uh, I would suspect someone would want to have it. Because if you're dealing with a complex sheet that's got tables and all sorts of stuff on there, then maybe that's not going to be the best uh, use for it. And the other thing to consider is if your spreadsheet's going to change over time, like you move around columns and, and things like that, and 
you know the filters aren't in the right places any in the right place anymore then the custom view function might not be all that helpful so it is, it is a neat little feature that can be helpful uh, depending on your on your use for Excel. And like I said, I think it's definitely helpful if you use it to add to the Google Access Toolbar so that it's easy to jump back in from one view to another and you know make it easy to bounce back and forth because it can be helpful under the right circumstances. So hope you found this video useful and thanks so much for watching.